Superhero party! Today is Pedro Pony's birthday. <laughs> he is having a superhero party. Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No, I'm a potato. <laughs> Hello! Here are Pepper and George. Oh, you're dressed like Super Potato too. Yes, <laughs> Super Potato! <laughs> Hello! All the children are dressed as Super Potato. What fun! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> Why are you blinking your eyes at me? I am using my X-ray eyes to see what is in your tummy. What? It's just pretend, Danny. <laughs> Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No, I'm a potato! It is the real super potato. Hello down there! Hope I'm not late. <laughs> Where is Pedro the Pony? That's me! You sent me this message. It says, come to my party. It's a party invite. So I'm here to save the day. Who do I rescue? Nobody needs rescuing. It's a birthday party. Oh, in that case, I'll be on my way. Please stay, Super Potato. We're going to play party games. And we've got balloons. <coughs> party games and balloons? OK, I'll stay. Hooray! This game is called Pass the Parcel. Inside the parcel is a surprise toy. Which one of the players will win? Sounds great. How do we play? I start the music, the parcel is passed around and when the music stops, one layer of paper is unwrapped. Aha! Uh -huh. I wonder what's inside. No one knows. That's what makes the game such fun. Time to use my X-ray eyes. Inside the parcel is a toy car. <gasps> You can't look inside the parcel. That's cheating. OK, I'll unwrap it using super strength. <gasps> so, do I win? No, no, no. This is a children's game. You can't use x-ray eyes or super strength. But I'm a superhero. If you want to stay at the party, you'll have to promise not to use your superpowers. OK. I promise not to use my superpowers. Thank you. Now it's time for the balloons. Yippee! Balloons! <laughs> there you go, George. Don't let go. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Here's another one. <laughs> Who else wants a balloon? Me, me, me! I wonder how big I can make them. Wow! It's the biggest balloon in the world. Yes, I suppose it might be. Ah! She's going up. <gasps> Don't worry. I'll stop when I get to the ceiling. As long as there isn't any window open. Oh, dear. There is a window open. Perhaps I should have closed that. Ah! Ah! Super Potato, fly after her. But I promise not to use my superpowers. And I never break a promise. Save me! Super Potato, we need you to use your superpowers now! Really? I'm allowed to? Yes! yes. OK! Time to use my laser eyes to pop the balloon! Brilliant! Now what? Um, I know. I'll use my super elastic arms to catch you. Oof! Super Potato has rescued Miss Rabbit. Hooray! Thank you! No problem. I'm a potato. I always save the day. Super Potato is amazing! This is my best birthday party ever! <laughs> Pedro loves superhero parties. <laughs> Everyone loves superhero parties. <laughs> Bowler Disco! Pepper and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller discos. Why Me too. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going round and round in a circle, children. <laughs> Pepper and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good 
good at skating. <laughs> Pepper and George love roller skating. <laughs> Whoa! Are you OK, Emily? Yes, Daddy, I'm fine. <laughs> Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap. <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, Belinda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What should we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, I can't seem to find wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go. Oh, round, huh. round. This music is so babyish. The wheels on the bus go round, round, round. round, round, round. Hello, Mummy and Daddy. Hello, Hello Peppa. Hello, Hello, George. This is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, George! Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Come on, let's skate together! <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> Everyone go the same way so you don't bump into each other. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Hello, Randy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Hello again, Pepper. Hello again, Daddy! <laughs> Hello again, Emily. What a surprise seeing you here. <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good. I've got just the one. Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> One potato, two potato, three potato, four Five potato, six potato, seven potato more. We have to be quicker potato, with our own two, music potato, next three, time potato, Yes, four. I've got it ready Five to play potato, six potato, seven potato, more. Wow, potato, Daddy's two, going backwards potato, Five potato, six potato, How do you do that? <laughs> I don't potato, know six potato, seven potato, more. Quick, it's over Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all time favorite song! Skate on the disco town! Madam Gazelle's roller skates are flashing! Madam Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. Wow! I wish I could do that. Me too! And me! All together! Everyone join in! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Mummy! Hello, Mandy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Molly! Hello, Mummy! Hello again, Pepper! Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. Parachute games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Peppa and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have. It's a rainbow parachute. And we are going to play games with it. Ooh. First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding on to the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing. 
sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat, the boat bobs up. Say bye-bye to the boat. Bye-bye. Okay, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! One, two, three, and lift! Up, up, up! And let go! Wow! The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer, I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. explanation, I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, 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 pop! 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 It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games! Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please! <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. It's the best rainbow ever. Peppa loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. Trampolines. Peppa and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I've never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> this is brilliant! Yes, but these mini trampolines are for little children. These are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> I'll 
have a go. <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. Grown-ups are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, trampoline park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Whee! Wow! This is unbelievable. Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? That was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounce on trampolines, you must bounce safely. Thank you, Peppa. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Peppa loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Flying discs. Today, Peppa and her family have come to play in the park. Look what I've brought along. Ooh, what is it? It's a flying disc. <laughs> wow, that is good. Good. Yes, flying discs are brilliant. <laughs> to you, Mummy Pig. <laughs> to you, Peppa. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Oh, it didn't fly. It's okay, Peppa. You just have to spin the disc in a special way. Hold it flat and then spin it. Okay, hold it flat. And spin it! To you, George! <laughs> Throw the disc to me, George! <laughs> Got you! To you, Peppa! What? <laughs> Got you! Oh, our disc isn't red! Whose disc is that? It is Danny Dog and his daddy. Hi, Peppa. Hi, Danny. Good. You caught our disc. Ah, oh, it's your disc. Yes. Can you spin it back to me? OK. To you, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> what? Another disc. Hello, Peppa. Squeak. It is Mandy Mouse and her mummy. Have you seen a blue disc? Yes. <laughs> I caught it. <laughs> That's my disc. OK, Mandy. Are you ready? Yes. Steady? Yes. Catch. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Here is Susie Sheep and her mummy. Hi, Susie. Have you got a flying disc? Yes. It's the 
best flying disc in the world. It has flashing lights and plays music. Ooh! Great! So where is this amazing disc? Um, well, you see, the thing is... Mum threw it in a tree. Mummy Sheep threw Susie's flying disc into the top of a tall tree. It's very high up. Hmm, too high to climb. No problem. We'll just knock that disc out with this one. No, Dad! <laughs> <gasps> ah, that's not what was supposed to happen. But it was a good idea. I wonder if I can knock both of them out of the tree. No, Mummy! <gasps> Looks like we've got the only disc left. Shall I try and knock the others out of the tree? OK, Daddy, but do it right. Oh. <gasps> All the discs are stuck in the tree. Don't worry. I know a way to get the discs down. You remember how I shook an apple tree to get apples down? Yes! All the apples fell on Daddy's head. <laughs> It was funny! Yes, really funny. So, this is the same sort of idea. I might need a bit of help. This is a big tree. Right then! Squeak! <laughs> oh, I think it's broken. <laughs> Keep shaking, Daddy! <laughs> Shake! Mum, put some effort in. I'm trying my best. Uh, 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 Whee! Oh. Oh. Ah. We did it! Hooray! <laughs> okay, everyone, watch what my disc does. Susie's flying disc has flashing lights and plays music. Wow! To you, Danny! To you, Peppa! Peppa loves flying discs. <laughs> Everybody loves flying discs. Undersea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids, all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, keep calm, don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. Wow! <gasps> you did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Hi, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Ox. 
octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Yeah. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right! Here's <laughs> <laughs> a whale! The biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish. It's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <laughs> OK. Last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Goldie. Goldie loves <laughs> undersea parties. Everybody <laughs> loves <laughs> undersea parties. Detective Club. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> Let's play detectives. This is our detective club, and we will solve mysteries. Ooh. We have to find a mystery. Yes, we can use the telephone. Hello? We are important detectives, and we need a mystery. They said go outside. But that's a wooden telephone. It doesn't work. We're playing a game, Susie. Ah, OK. <laughs> Daddy, we are a detective. Club. That sounds lovely. We solve mysteries. Fantastic. Uh, only problem is it's actually time for us to go home. Oh, but I want to play some more. You can come back to the clubhouse tomorrow. OK, Daddy. Bye, Peppa. Bye. Bye. Oh, the car's locked. Daddy Pig cannot open the car door. Uh... And I don't seem to have the key. Until I've found my key, we can't go home. Hooray! We can play more. <laughs> Come back to the detective club, Peppa. <laughs> uh, I wonder if your detective club can help me find my key. Yes, that's a real mystery. OK, <laughs> we'll help you, Daddy. Thank you. The key must be somewhere around here. If we all crawl around looking on our hands and knees, we might find it. No, we are detectives. We do not crawl around on our hands and knees. I see. We have clever ways to do things. Maybe there's a way to open the car without a key. Um, we could ring the police. Yes, they can open locked cars. Phone the police. This is the police station. Slow day today. If only we had something to do. <sighs> Phone the police? That's brilliant. Uh, only problem is, where have I put my phone? It's in the car. Daddy Pig's phone is locked inside the car. That's not good. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit. Can I use your phone? Sorry, old chap, I left my phone at home. But looks like there's a phone in the clubhouse. Fantastic. Uh, how do I use this thing? It's a toy phone. It's made of wood. Let me have a go. I do have quite a loud voice. Help! Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. Help! Someone's calling for help! We've got ourselves a job! To the police car! Did someone shout for help? Yes! 
Yes, we've got an emergency. What kind of emergency? Flood? Earthquake? Tornado? Um, I'm locked out of my car. Daddy can't drive us home. Good thing you called us. That was our idea. Good work, children. We'll take it from here. Daddy Pig, where is your car key? I've lost it. Key is lost. This might sound very silly, but have you looked in all the obvious places, like your pockets? My key! Daddy Pig's key was in his pocket. That's funny. I didn't even know I had pockets. Mystery solved. All thanks to the quick thinking of these young children. We are detectives and this is our clubhouse. Very smart. I wish we had a clubhouse. We do. It's called the police station. Yes, but the police station doesn't have a slide or a swing. Yes, our clubhouse is the best in the whole world. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Families. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Hiya, Mummy! <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with Mummy and Daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, Daddy. <laughs> Everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Me. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing. How about the Panda Twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! Oh, all right then. <laughs> Super! And Danny Dog? My Daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now Daddy has come home to me and Mummy and he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my Mummy and my other Mummy. One Mummy is a doctor and one Mummy cooks spaghetti. <laughs> I love spaghetti. <laughs> Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. Rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? 
I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <coughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <coughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa <laughs> loves families. Everyone loves families. <laughs> little cars. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights, and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Ooh. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beep the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. <laughs> Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> I'm going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Happy children enjoying themselves. Which way do we go? Any way you like. It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. <laughs> Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But we are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beat. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes, I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Yeah! Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> Oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop. Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can go. <laughs> Wait for us. <laughs> now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I hope you've learned at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um... Don't beep the horn all the time. <laughs>
That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone loves little cars. <laughs> the diner. Peppa and her family are in America on their way to Hollywood. I love this motorhome. <laughs> a motorhome is a house that you can drive. Are we in Hollywood yet, Daddy Pig? Let's ask someone. Hello. Hello. Well, howdy, folks. I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yep, there's a lot of us around. What can I do you for? Stop him for some gas? No. Uh, About to eat? Well, we... Country dancing. We would just like to know if we're in Hollywood, please. No, ma'am, you're a long way from Hollywood. Oh. But as you're here, why don't you just settle down and get some of that good old home cooking in your belly? Well, I suppose we could stop for breakfast. Hooray! So what'll it be? Sunny side up or sunny side down. Eggs over easy, no need to frown. <laughs> <laughs> Eggs over easy, please. Coming right up. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. What's X over easy? I flip the egg over. Thank you. And what's sunny side up? I don't flip the egg over. It stays like this. Sunny side up, please. And me. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is good at cooking eggs. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. I love my sunny side up egg. Mmm. Eggy. <laughs> Thank you. That was delicious. Now I'll just sit back, relax, and... So, who likes dancing? Me! Good! Then y'all come and meet Mr. Bob Bobcat and his band. All join hands and step to the right. Keep on stepping and make it tight. Oh my gosh, oh my Joe. Keep on stepping and here we go. Let's all join in. Y'all be needing these. <laughs> Take your partner by the hand. Now everybody swing. Swing, swing, swing. Woo, you, woo. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Peppa, would you like to do the singing? Yes, please. <laughs> Jump up and down like in a cup. Jump up and down and down. Never done a square dance like that before. Y'all keep the noise down, please. We can't hear our monster trucks. Monster truck! This is a monster truck. Wow! Those big wheels have got a car on top of them. <laughs> Mr. Coyote is going to jump over a big muddy puddle. <laughs> That looks fun. You can have a go, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Hooray! Oh, it is a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. You need to go faster to jump over the puddle. Faster, Daddy! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Daddy's truck is jumping up and down in muddy puddles! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, why don't you have a go? Oh, I think we need to get back on the road to Hollywood. Hollywood? Yes, we're going to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Hash Brown? Well, he's my favourite. You can come too if you like. Oh, I would love to, darling, but I'm kind of busy. Goodbye now. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. <laughs> Pepper and her family are back on the road to Hollywood. <laughs> Motor.
motor biking. It is a lovely sunny day in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig with his raspberry patch. A little bird has come to look at Grandpa Pig's raspberries. <coughs> ah! Shoo, shoo! <coughs> Cheeky birds, eat my raspberries, would you? The little birds like your raspberries, Grandpa. So do I. It's a good job I'm here to make sure they don't eat them all. Grandpa Pig, I've just had a wonderful idea. <coughs> Let's go camping. Camping? Camping! <laughs> we could camp in the garden. No, let's drive somewhere, find a nice spot and pitch a tent. But our car is at Grandad Dog's garage, being fixed. Oh, yes. What about the old motorbike? Motorbike? Yes. Grandpa and I have had many adventures on our motorbike when we were younger. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. That was fun. But it was a long time ago, Granny Pig. All the more reason for us to get the old motorbike out again. <laughs> Here it is! Motorbike! <laughs> What's this funny thing on the side? It's called a sidecar, Pepper. You and George can sit in it. What about my raspberries? You can't take your garden with you, Grandpa. Come on, it'll be fun to get away for a bit. I suppose so. <laughs> But if we're going to go, I just need to make sure my raspberries will be safe. Pepper and George, you play in the garden while I pack a bag for the trip. OK. <laughs> <laughs> there. What are you doing with your raspberries, Grandpa? I'm keeping them safe from those pesky birds. Are you planting them in your shed? Um, sort of. Here we are, bags packed and ready to go camping. What are you wearing, Granny? This is my motorcycle jacket. It keeps me warm on the motorbike. Oh, my raspberries will now be safe and sound. Let's go. Very good. Do you have the helmets and goggles? Here they are. You must wear a safety helmet if you ride on a motorbike. All aboard. Yes, yes Granny Pig. Pig. Which way should we go? That way. The seaside. <laughs> ah, this is the life. <laughs> Granny's motorbike goes brum brum brum, brum brum brum, brum brum brum. Granny's motorbike goes brum 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 all day long. <laughs> this is Grandad Dog's garage. Hello. Hello. Fill her up, please, Grandad Dog. Granny Pig, I didn't know you had a motorcycle. Yes, we're using it while you fix our car. Well, the car is fixed. You can take it now. Oh. oh. If you don't mind, I think we'll pick it up later. We're having too much fun on the motorbike. Bye. 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 Granny's, Granny's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum all day long. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at the seaside. Hooray! Let's camp here. But, Granny, we've forgotten the tent. No, we haven't, Pepper. This is a very special camping motorbike. Watch this! Wow! wow. The motorbike has turned into a tent. It's a magic tent. Yes, Pepper. <laughs> We've got everything we need to sleep by the sea. Hooray! I hope you're not missing your raspberries too much, Grandpa Pig. Not at all, because I made a few adjustments to the motorbike this morning and brought my garden too. Wow! Your raspberry patch! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves camping, especially when he can bring his garden with him. Big Crawly Safari. Madam Gazelle is taking Pepper and her friends on a school trip. Today, children, we are going on a creepy crawly safari. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. 
okay. You can bring Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Then let's go. <laughs> Here is the creepy crawly safari. Will we see big scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. Roar. Here is Mr. Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr. Lion. You startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great. Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah, we have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the Creepy Crawly Safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood, full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, a ladybird. <laughs> oh, how charming. Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the rocky wilderness. Here we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh. <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone! <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh no! Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry, he can't have got far. Yes, everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh dear, Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> Look, Stephen's come back. Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari, but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> <laughs> The park! Today, Pepper and her family are at the park. There are so many fun things to do in the park. What shall we start with? Let's go to the little bridge and say hello to the ducks. Quack, quack! Yes, the ducks! Here is the little bridge. Zoe Zebra is here. Hello, Zoe. Hello, Peppa. Oh, where are the ducks? I think they are hiding. Let's call them. Ducks, where are you? Come out now, wherever you are. Here is Mrs. Duck. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here are the baby ducklings. Ooh. They are so sweet. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Peppa likes talking to ducks. Everyone likes talking to ducks. What? 
What a lot of talking! <laughs> <laughs> now, let's visit the bouncy tree. This is the bouncy tree. Danny Dog is already on it. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Ready, steady, bounce! <laughs> bounce, bounce! George wants a go. OK, George, I'll lift you on, but I'll keep hold of you. George is a bit too little to bounce on the branch on his own. Ready, Ready steady, steady, bounce! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough bouncing for today. See you later. Bye, Danny. So, what's next? I think it's the hopping logs. These are the hopping logs. Susie Sheep is here. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Susie. Watch me. I can do it without touching the ground. Hooray! <coughs> My go. Oh. 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 I did it. Hooray! <coughs> <coughs> now it is George's turn. There you go, George. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, it's a big gap, isn't it, George? Would you like some help? <laughs> whoa, 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 and whoa. Hooray! <laughs> One day, when George is big like me, he will be able to do it on his own. <laughs> What's next? It has to be the monkey bars. <laughs> Here are the monkey bars. Candy Cat and Pedro Pony are trying to swing across them. Oof, oof. It is difficult not to let go of the monkey bars. My turn. You just have to swing like a monkey. Look. Ooh. It's easy when you're big and strong like me. Ugh. You're not swinging, you're walking. <laughs> cheeky Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy is a cheeky monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly am. <laughs> My go. Oh, I can't hold on. Oof, it's impossible. <laughs> George wants a go. Oh, George, you were too little. Even I can't do it. Hmm, maybe being little might help. <laughs> Hooray! What can we do now? Well, there's one thing in the park that we absolutely have to do. I think I know what that is. Um... It has something to do with your boots. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles! The park has lots of muddy puddles for Peppa and her friends to jump in. This is brilliant! Peppa loves the park. Everybody loves the park. Lucky Hamper! Peppa and her friends are at play group. Children, who knows what this is? It's an empty basket thing. Correct! And it is called a hamper. What is it for? We are going to raise money for a good cause. Ooh. We fill the hamper with lovely things to eat. Can we put fruit in it? How about a pineapple? And a coconut. I like bananas. Wonderful! It will be a tropical hamper. Where do we get all this fruit? Good question, Susie. Please, can you all bring lots of fruit from home? Yes, Madame Gazelle. We will sell raffle tickets. Your mummies and daddies write their name on a ticket. And if they are lucky, they win the hamper. Wow! It is home time. Mummy, Mummy, we are making a lucky hamper. And you could buy a ticket to win it. That sounds nice. Don't forget to bring lots of tropical fruit, children. Daddy, Daddy, we need to find fruit. Hey, what? 
is for our playgroup, Lucky Hamper. Ah, how about this apple? No, Daddy. It has to be Troppy Poppy Curl. Yes, Madam Gazelle did shout something about tropical fruit. <coughs> We've got this coconut. Good. <coughs> and there's this tin of pineapple slices at the back of the cupboard. Will they do? Yes. Now you need to buy a ticket. <laughs> I see. And you put your name on the ticket. Daddy Pig. If your ticket is the lucky one, you win the hamper. Fantastic. Uh, Mummy, can you buy the rest of my ticket? <laughs> well, I suppose it is all for a good cause. It is the next day. All the children have brought tropical fruit for the lucky hamper. Bananas and a tin of pineapple. I have a mango and four tins of pineapple. I've got a real pineapple. Wow! And a tin of pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful! Our hamper is full. Now we can decorate it with tropical things like palm trees, parrots, and fish. <laughs> Children are making decorations for the hamper. I'm making a palm tree. Here is the trunk, and here are the leaves. <laughs> what a lovely palm tree. Let's stick it on the hamper. I am making a parrot. Wonderful. It will look good just here. I've made the sea. And I've made a tropical fish. Oh, perfect. I've made a pirate flag. Yo ho ho. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. The hamper is finished. Who will be the lucky person to win our hamper? <coughs> Hello. Hello. The parents have arrived. Thank you, everyone, for giving so much fruit for our lucky hamper. Wow. wow! Nice! It looks amazing. And thank you for buying all our raffle tickets. It is time to see who will win the hamper. Ooh. I have put all the tickets in this bucket. I shake them around so they are all mixed up. I close my eyes and pick up the winning ticket. Madame Gazelle, there's one ticket left. Oh, my goodness, I forgot to buy a ticket for myself. Madame Gazelle. I will just add my ticket to the rest. I close my eyes. Um, shouldn't the bucket get mixed again? And pick up the winning ticket. Madame Gazelle. Oh, that's me! Madame Gazelle has won the hamper. That was very lucky. Hooray! <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves lucky hampers. Everyone loves lucky hampers. <laughs> <laughs>